All right, I'm gonna make us another little video. I get my stuff picked up. But I'm building a hot wire fence in my feed pins. Um, you might ask, why are you building hot wire fence in your feed pins? I've asked myself that. I got new cable for my feed bunk. I got the right kind of cable that I'm supposed to have. But you might, I'm gonna actually leave those there because uh, I built a hot wire fence in my pins because the owner of this set of kevs, which I guess I could do it with my kevs, want them to be hot wire broke. And you have to realize there's not a lot of hot wire in my part of the world unless it's on wheat circles or corn stalks. Most of the kevs come off ranches that have four or five wire fences, six wire fences, and they've never seen a hot wire fence. A lot of the calves I buy have never seen a hot wire fence. And so these calves, although they are extremely, extremely large, they're probably going to go back out to a wheat circle. And I think the guy who bought them, he wanted to send them somewhere else, but plans change. They're going to go to a wheat circle. So what happens is when the calves are ready to go, uh, mainly the calves he gets sends to me are going to go to wheat. Within a week of them leaving, I'll put up a little hot wire fence. And I, I should have done a little bit more of this pin, but these calves are absolutely crazy. And they're, I just want them to walk up to it and hit it. Um, I'll cut part of a, fin, a pin out, a bigger chunk, and that way the calves are used to it. But these ones... They'll just tear through it. So I cut a small corner out where they like to lay and they'll come up to it, get curious during the day and they'll walk up to it and hit it and it'll nail the piss out of them. But the problem I'm running into is at night or they'll get to playing around and then they'll just run through the fence. And so the next day I gotta rebuild the fence. And so about two to three days of that and they'll stop running into the fence usually sometimes they just don't ever stop running into it like they'll they won't run into it if they know you know they know it's there but you know the other calves will push them into it and that's my kind of biggest problem so since I don't have any power down here I've got to run a little solar charger and solar chargers aren't cheap at all and like they always get torn up. I go through one of these things a year, pretty much now. Um, and this time, like I'm always, always the guts are always getting ripped out of them. And so, I actually just took a set of uh, like 16 gauge, four, no, they're 14 gauge wire, and I wrapped it up in here. And that may not work very well where I have it spooled around it. Um, but I'm trying to come up with a way that it's it's fastened enough that it makes good contact. But when the Kevs nail the piss out of it, it doesn't just rip the charger down or tear the charger up. Because it, you know, these things are expensive and I'm not charging them for them. But I'm going to have to start because... They, they just tear the hell out of them. Uh, I guess if I if I, I get serious enough, I could just put a charger out here in this alleyway somewhere, a permanent charger, and then just run a fan, you know, run one down. But I only do this in the fall, and, and those things get torn up, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just add $300 to the bill every year and know that I'm going to buy a new charger, but... The main point is, this is kind of a uh, part of what I've been doing, uh, and it actually works. The first time he uh, he told me I needed to hot wire break those calves, I kind of, you know, what well, what the hell are you talking about? But if you put the if you put this little fence up in this pen, then. You know, after a couple days or so, they'll get used to it. 
and they they get used to hot wire even though they're not out in the open and where a lot of these cattle end up there aren't any fences anywhere uh, around these circles like at all and so the actual the only fences are the hot wire fences and if the calves aren't used to it you know you can get calves mixed up four or five different circles of wheat and you got to track them all down and it it's real pain in the ass so that's why why they want it done and they actually will pay you a little bit more at the sale barn if they're already hot wire broke you know that's kind of like advertising your calves have shots you're like these are hot wire broke so if you're sending preconditioned calves through there that are hot wire broke then they can go and turn them straight out on wheat and you're not going to see a you know 10 fans you might see a penny or two more i don't know maybe even three it could be more than that but that's uh just something i i noticed because i actually had a set of calves that came off a hay grazer that were that way they brought a little bit more but so these these nut jobs are going to be going sometime um i think this week maybe not i might have them even longer but they're uh I still have them. These are the first calves I got in. And these are the first calves that came into these feed bins. But uh, if you can actually look down, we're actually getting a good manure layer in our pens and that's stopping a lot of the dust. So it's, it's hot today. It's 60 something degrees. And it's gonna be that way for another two days and then we're gonna get down in the 40s for a high, but it's warm enough I'm watering my wheat a little bit still. But yeah, that's that's kind of where that's at. Kind of give you a little quick view of some of the calves. These are my mild balls I've buy, been buying. That they are what I cut out of loads that I already sold and they were leftovers and and stuff like that and so they're just you know, you got a goofy calf here, and you got a good calf there, and a goofy calf there, and real good calf over there, and just a lot of random stuff. But that's what, that's kind of where I'm at today. These are some of the ranch calves. He's stretching. They're doing good. They're happy. Now I won't, I, I won't hot wire break anything besides what the guy asked me to do. It's uh, just not going to happen. And I'm not going to do any of my own. My own calves, I turned out. And I I turned them out so fast, it really didn't matter to me if they were, you know, I didn't have time to put up a hot wire. I just got, had to get them out of the pins. But they did fine out there. But the other part of that is I got a five wire and a six wire fence around the whole thing in most parts. So, you know, if they done, didn't do good, they're... They weren't gonna go anywhere. My gates. Done. We're gonna rebuild all these fences on this side when we get a chance and the money to do it. Uh, this this continuous fencing has been has been great. I really, actually, am pretty impressed with it. I didn't think I would be um, at all, but I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. We'll be buying more of it to do like water lots and cow pens and places because it, especially here in this alleyway, it, I mean, it works. We can actually sort calves in here where beforehand had a five wire fence over here and that junk over there and the calves just went through the fences. You couldn't sort in there here. So when we get this one replaced, that'll make it a lot better. But that's my little hot wire project. So I guess I'm not going to call them pro tips because I am no pro whatsoever. But if you're, uh, if you're wanting to feed calves and you think they might go somewhere where people uh, are going to have hot wires, you can always do that real quick and 
either if you're feeding for a customer, be like, I can hot wire break them for you, or these cows are hot wire broke. Move over, dog. Yeah, didn't mean for it to be 10 minutes long, but that's my fencing project.